all I ever want to ask to be enough for you. Okay. No, I'm not okay. I'm gonna overshare so much. I'm over it. Okay. I can't cry. <laughs> I wanna cry. I am mentally, physically unstable. I'm hungry. What is up, y'all? Could you not put angle the chimney? The lighting's still orange, but it's okay. It's like I am going to record myself, get ready, just chill, like bore up together with you guys. I need to rant about random shit. I have no friends to listen to me ranting. You guys are gonna be my friend. Just just pretend that we are on FaceTime or video call. Yeah. First of all, I'm so sorry if like the lighting is not the best because I am using this lamp right here. So I am trying to not make it too perfect, you know, just chill. How are you guys doing? And if you guys ask me, Irene, how are you? Are you okay? Are you happy right now? Generally, I will reply, no, I'm not okay. That's why I am doing this video, like super random. Out of nowhere, I was like feeling so dread. FML, I need to do my makeup. Okay, I just want to do my makeup. Guys, <laughs> I uh, did a like a poll, asked me a question on my IG story, Instagram, it's, it's Iron Fuzzly and I basically asked you guys to like kind of give me questions that I can ask just like random questions so I have tons of questions, literally crazy oh my god, oh my god <laughs> I am mentally, physically unstable that I just, I just had to record this video because I know that all my friends, my family, my friends will definitely watch this video because they know me that if I am having a bad day, I won't rant to them, but I really rant to my camera. Breakups. You had a boyfriend, boyfriend, but more to situation shit. <laughs> we kind of ended that moment when like you want to scream so bad, but you can't. You know, sad news is how I feel lost because. My whole life has always been, I mean study, I mean study, I mean study, you just have to study, you cannot do this, you cannot do that, you just have to study and get good grades. And when I finish studies, okay, what's next? I don't know what to do. Because all my life has always been study, 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 you know, and if I want to do other things, I just feel guilty. I want to cry. Um, <laughs> can I just cry? Me and him ended, so uh, I don't want to cry because it's just like, come on, Irene, you're not gonna cry because of someone. But I'm not a robot. I have feelings. I've been reading a lot too, guys. Can you guys imagine like this girl? She used to hate reading, but now reading is her everything. Jomla dona gusti. Hi, how are you, Irene? I love you, Irene. I love you too. I have so many feelings in me. Like it's mixed feelings. I feel happy, I feel sad. I just don't know what to do with the person. If you were to ask me right now, I'm not okay. <laughs> I want to travel. Honestly, I really, 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 really want to travel. Traveling with my friends. I'm gonna be out of the town this month and I cannot wait. All I ever want to ask to be enough for you. <laughs> While I was away from social media, I actually read a lot. I've been reading. What is my favorite book that I've been reading? And I've been reading this. This is Gentle Reminder. This is probably the most frequently asked what book is this? What book is this? It is a Gentle Reminder by Bianca Sparaspino. And then this one is Be Your Own Boss by Carrie Wilkerson. This is probably the most book that I've read so far. Like, I watch book I repeat, like every single night, non stop. Literally, even though I finish a chapter, each chapter I will literally repeat and even memorize. Yes, 
I memorized it <laughs> for no reason. This book I haven't finished yet and it needs to read when I am not in my best state of mind. So this one is my favorite part. It is okay to outgrow those who don't know how to love you. I literally, literally cry so hard while reading this. And especially when I am reading this and I'm having a hard time. I hope you learn how to let go. I hope you learn how to let go of everyone's opinion of your life. I hope you start to see from a place that lives with, deep within you that there is no universally correct way to live a life that is solely on your own. Every human being has different goals and has different concepts of what happiness looks like to them and has a different concept of what it truly really means to be alive. And because of that, people will, will, will always judge you. The world will try to change you, but you must continue to move in your own direction. <coughs> you must continue to grow at your own pace. Because if you allow for that to alter your path, you're going to end up living someone else's life. I hope you learn how to make your, your own life your own. I hope you learn how to make your time through something you are proud of. Okay, I'm gonna read this to you guys. This hit me so hard. I know it's hard, I know it hurts, but you cannot focus on people who walk away but you can keep all of the hope alive because at the end of the day, if someone wants to be in your life, they will be. Truly, if they are capable, they will make the time and effort, they will show up if they do not let that be your closure. If they do not, let that end. If they do not, fuck them. If they do not, is their loss, not yours. If they do not screw them. <sighs> I've been yapping for the last 15 minutes and I wasn't even recording. I wasn't even recording. Yes. I was not recording. Talak pun nak cakap ni, ya Allah tuan ku. Ku sadari, ku tasak. I baru nak start uni. So what's your advice. I love this question because I've been through tough times, shitty times, good times during uni. For this question, I am very qualified. I am very certified, qualified to give you advice. The hard truth of for my uni and what I experienced. Okay, I don't know about y'all but this is my, my own personal opinion that I want to put it out, you know. I ended my uni era, not really uni era. Um, if you were to ask me how's after uni life, I genuinely feel lost. I'm kind of lost. I feel like I have plans, like clear plans of what I want to do. I feel alone. <laughs> I miss my friends. Yeah. First of all, no one cares about what you wear, your past studies result like SPM. So just mind your own business. Second of all, if you're alone, it is okay. Trust me or not, you'll get a lot of friends. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of friends in the beginning of your start, in your start of your uni things. You will definitely have a lot of friends. Yay! Thousands of friends. But middle, in the middle of your uni, I swear to God, guys, it will you will have a lot of friendship breakups. Yes, and then until last, uh, I am also all alone during uni in class. Like not like I'm the only student there now, but I'm like the only girl because everyone is a guy, <laughs> everyone is a boy. People say it's fun, but honestly, I need my girlfriends. I need someone to talk about. Oh my God, my makeup rosa or like. Anything about girls, all my friends talk about is ball, bola, game, whatever. I don't, I can't really relate. Uh, middle of uni until the end of the my uni journey, I am all alone. I cry alone. You know, all the struggles alone. And 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 I will say I survived. I'm so proud to say this, but I survived my uni a little because uh, I became friends with lecturers, and I survived. I freaking survived alone, alone. It's okay, I survive and you will too. So kalau tak ada kawan tak apa bro Cause you tak tahu mati kalau tak ada kawan Like I remember like crying on my bed in my room Because like <laughs> I feel so sad You know like everyone lepak semua tu And I'm just like I feel stupid Cause I am in my room on my bed crying But it's like for no reason because I have no friends But then I realized this is the time where I learned 
I learned a lot of things in my life. I improved myself, blah, blah, blah. Like when you have too much friends, it gets messy as rambut. I am extrovert. I don't know, I change to introvert. So the upper Kylie Soul Sora. The third tips, I would definitely encourage you to, to not give up. When you enter uni, like for high school, you have tuition, you have like extra class, all of that. But for uni, you have to mentally and physically prepare your mind to actually be your own teacher. You have to train your mind to be your own teacher. You have to teach yourself if you don't know anything. If you don't really have friends, ask lecturer. But if you have friends, that's good for you. You know, that is definitely good for you. I'm happy for you and it's easier to make your uni life fun entertaining and not boring and you won't struggle like me I wanted to end my uni life so bad because um, I had some issues with my friends <laughs> okay TMI <laughs> I had a lot of friendship breakups that kind of ruined my mood to go to uni I have friends but they're all in the different parts of the uni Bukan, bukan, apa, in the different in the different courses in the uni I'm taking this uh, subject A and my friends is taking subject B so we're all separated and so we became not close so to my ade ade don't give up when things go hard and things just not as fun as you did not expect the thing was gonna happen it is okay at the end of the day you're gonna right away you know uh, what you'll do on your side is how you overcome it in this moment where I am recording and talking to you guys and giving you guys advices um, I am on my own me myself is going tough journey in my life right now sometimes I will just cry myself out I will talk to my camera like this I will just like vent on my camera literally rent daily i have like a, literally a gallery on my computer of like um me renting vlogs <laughs> uh unposted vlogs i will listen to sad music until like i pause not me the most important thing is i will journal out my feelings i will grab a book grab a pen my journal right here i just write anything whatever that i'm feeling on that day, Kapuka, I will write it out. I write a letter to myself. You know what I'm feeling, blah blah. And then I will go out. I will like drive and go out. I feel so much better. I changed a very comfortable hoodie. What is the worst thing a guy did to you and how you moved on from it? I met this one guy. We were like so freaking close to each other that we inseparable. Unsepar and so ah we're like attached to each other. You know, and it wasn't like a relationship. It was more to unlabeled relationship. It's probably the most unlabeled relationship that I am most affected. When it ended, I was like, I cried my eyeballs. <laughs> I can't cry. So it's just that I gave my whole heart to someone that don't deserve it. Sometimes I do think that it's my fault. It's my fault. Or just like falling for him okay that night i'm exposing it okay i'm over it but i'm just gonna tell you guys that i'm gonna overshare so much it was his birthday night we went to my friend's house to celebrate his birthday and i i was asked to buy a birthday cake i was so happy finally yay i can't wait to celebrate your birthday i bought it it cost literally freaking expensive so if you're watching this man please pay back okay he did not even show up to my friend's house that we were supposed to celebrate his birthday at you know imagine you want to celebrate someone's birthday but then he they don't even show up you plan everything you prepare everything but they don't even show up how would you feel that time i was like i went back home that night like i couldn't just stand my eyes from crying so i wanted to cry at my friend's house but i did not so uh because i'm not the type of person who cries at someone's house so i bought it too i was oh my god it was the worst night ever he was mad at me and he screamed at me in the public which i don't think i deserved it i don't want to remember this so then i just learned my lesson from it i don't want i don't really want to answer how you, i've moved on from it because it just happened and i okay honestly i haven't really 100 percent moved on still gets to me 
I still feel like punching someone. Why? Why? Why would you like literally not hurt, but let's just like leave someone that cares for you so much? Why would you? <laughs> God. Okay, aku tak cakap banyak uh, Nanti kan aku nangis, aku tak nangis I'm just so traumatized Yeah, I honestly don't know what the video is It's just like, it's fail already Generally, right now, I am trying to kind of like be happy for myself I stop focusing on things that I just don't really have to think about Like, it doesn't really matter if I think about them I'm trying to feel more grateful to think about people who care about me People who love me, like you guys People who appreciate me, like my family my best friends who support me in a lot of ways I love you nose know, contouring Then I'm just gonna use blusher for my eyeshadow By the way, I have learned a new technique for my makeup um, I don't like to use that much makeup right now So I try to make it as simple as I can Whatever it is, like other than just like focusing on the bad things And things that I don't really have to think about And it doesn't really matter to me I'm excited for life also, also the more um the more I read, oh, okay, I pause on it. <laughs> My brain is like a math right now. It's like going everywhere. The more I realize, the more um, I cut people from my life that just like I don't really feel comfortable around them. The more I cut them, the more I attract so much love abundance and just like I attract so much love from people like genuine people who support me, who love me, and who cares about me. I attract jobs that I love, I try literally just don't be afraid to cut people off your life kalau you sayang sama orang tu jangan, jangan takut to fight that sayang and just cut them off because man life is short you can always meet other people that are similar to people that you love but the more I cut toxic people off from my life and I just let things be if they want to come in my life okay fine I let them be but if they want to go out from my life, if they want to blah daripada hidup aku I am still like okay, it doesn't really matter for me anymore Genuinely, I am confident that I, I love being alone I love being in my own company And I love going out myself I love to do things on my own It feels good, it feels good to have someone with me like teman I ke apa In my opinion, it just don't really matter anymore Thank you guys for listening to my rant I don't know why I'm ranting but I don't really like overconfident guys Like, sikit-sikit boleh lah bang Tapi kalau overconfident tu Bela-bela uh, lah Jangan lah overconfident You can be confident And it's good for you if you're confident But don't be over, over, overconfident I met this one guy and he was like overconfident He thinks like every girl is into him you attract what you believe if you believe that people will like you people love you okay that's true you will attract more people that love you but if you are too confident you're too too too, too confident um honey man bro just don't i like confident people but not too confident like he's so confident that he is very smart is confident that he can get any goals that he wants guys one more thing is that if someone if someone can criticize on social media like i am a netizen okay but i'm a very silent netizen like if i see something that i just don't like on instagram youtube or tiktok people will comment people will, like tap it out but i just don't I just like, okay, I just don't care I'm very unbothered netizen I've been in that situation where I posted a video online and I got criticized like a negative criticism a lot It's so bad and I um, almost got... I was depressed because of it Yeah, so that's why I just understand if people are going through tough times on their social media people comment bad things on social media I just I feel like I tak join the macam-macam bawang dekat social media At this point, I tak tahu aku nampak IBB macam-macam Dengar je lah The girl, you talk a lot I'm the one who needs to edit this video I don't even know what this video is But we're going in there I'm hungry That's cute
for watching this whole entire video where I talk and I'm sorry if this video is boring I just need to get it out for me I just need, need to let it go I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys whenever I'm posting a new YouTube video every week bye